Haiti is a very, 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 very important uh, island in uh, the Pan-African struggle. Haiti uh, brings pride to Africans who know history. In 1803, Haiti was the most democratic country in the world. It was the only country in the world that did not allow slavery on its borders. The only country in the world in 1803. Once you properly understand this history, because you know these uh, capitalist pigs have such a way of making appear as if we've never done anything as Africans. We don't know democracy. Yeah, we don't know democracy. In 1803, Africans gave the freest world, the freest nation to the entire world. The only country in the world that did not allow slavery was Haiti. And not only did not allow it, but the only country in the world that put its natural resources towards fighting against any oppression was Haiti. Simon Bolivar who liberated South America. Anyone who knows the history knows it was Haiti that gave him the money, outfitted him with ships to start the struggle. And the Haitians demanded only one thing of Bolivar. When you free Venezuela, when you free Colombia, when you free Argentina, when you free Peru, free the slaves. The only condition of which they required of Simon Bolivar. This is history. You can't hide the truth, and if you know your history, you look for your history, you'll find it. You can imagine the threat that history imposed, that Haiti imposed upon America since 1803. There was nothing that American imperialism, one other thing I must tell you. From this period, 1803, Haiti fought every major European power, the Americans, the French, the Spanish, the Germans, the Portuguese, all of them, trying to bring Haiti down, and not one of them could make Haiti renege on her democratic principles. On that country, there would never be on that territory a slave. Every man, every woman was free. You just make it to Haiti and you're free. No slavery. Everywhere else there was slavery. Everywhere else. In the great America, they were, well, let's not talk about that. So anyway, you could imagine the threat that Haiti posed. American imperialism, all of its life, had only one objective, to bring those slaves back onto the plantation. There was only one objective, bring those slaves back to the plantation. And America, France, all of them could not bring Haiti back to the plantation. Even after slavery was uh, made illegal throughout the Western Hemisphere and was even abandoned and emancipation proclamations were read everywhere, Haiti continued to be the guiding inspiration for Africans throughout the Western Hemisphere. It was not until 1915 that American imperialism could put the heels of the Marines on Haiti, install Papa Doc, a scum of our race, one who would bow down to the wishes of imperialism and rape his people without the slightest mercy. And since then, that's where Haiti has been. And that's where it is to this day. And it's certainly not Bill Clinton who's going to liberate it, just the masses of Africans.